Inside the 20 on a beautiful punt. But Waters finds a hole, one man to beat, he's gone. 25 years ago, a fascinating and talented bunch of players brought Notre Dame one of its best seasons ever. Down the sideline, at the 40, at the 30, at the 20, he could go all the way to 10 to 5, touchdown Irish. Please welcome the 1988 National Championship Fighting Irish football team. When we're talking about national championships all the time, it's always good to put those faces, those, those names, those coaches uh, with that championship. Uh, for our players to see those guys and to, to see Coach Holtz, uh, I think uh, allows us to really bridge that gap in knowing you know, that's what we play for, national championships. Uh, not only do we get to ch share the national championship feeling together, but without that, we'd still be brothers always. We see each other a couple times every so, so many years. We're a tight group of guys. We love each other. We're a fun group of guys, loyal, tough, nasty. If I wanted to go war, war with somebody, it'd be these group of guys behind me right now. That's who I would go war with. bit of an emotional weekend and game for T.J. Jones, the 88 National Championship team here. He got a lot of emotional hugs from some of the members of that team. His father, Andre, of course, played on that 88 National Championship team. Died tragically at uh, the age of 42 just a couple of years ago after a brain aneurysm. When we first heard about Andre's passing, uh, it, it, it's the start of all of us. You don't expect it to happen to a guy like that. When he passed, it, it was still hard to, to, it's still hard to deal with. When Andre passed, um, I thought very long and hard about what we would do uh, for our fallen brother. And TJ is one of six siblings, and we felt a tremendous sense of responsibility to his wife, Michelle, and all of uh, Andre's children. And our responsibility to, to TJ is no different than, than our responsibility to each other. That's to earn that trust, love, and commitment. Uh, the very things that Andre was teaching TJ, uh, we want to, uh, TJ to see in us. All the time when we see alumni come in, usually, you know, those teammates that played with his father, um, you know, he calls them his uncles. Uh, we, tell, we always say he's got 100 uncles. The guys that my father played with are very, special group of people to me. You know, they're a lot similar to my father, and they're guys that I consider family who are there for me through thick and thin. I mean, that kid can ask me for anything, and if it's anywhere remotely possible, I'll make it happen. As he continues to mature uh, as a man, he's gonna be the type of teammate that his father was to us, to his friends and, and colleagues in Notre Dame. Ben and Jackson is one of my best guys on the team. You know, we've lived together really our entire time in college. We look at each other as, you know, a brother. Um, and really a best friend. He's definitely a guy that, you know, I can rely on. Um, you know, and someone that, that I can trust. Both of these young men come from different backgrounds, but they have bonded together uh, through their freshman year um, as two young men that played more than any other freshman uh, in their first year here. Yeah, it was extremely tough on TJ when his dad passed away. You know, we just let him know that we were there for him. Uh, he knew that every guy you know, was there for him and had his family in their prayers. You know, at a time like that, you just gotta let him know you're, you're there for him. You are going to be team captains going to fit field for the coin toss. I think we both realized that when we were first both named captains, you know, we had a short talk just about how you rarely see two, you know, best friends that are being named captains. But just going out there, you know, holding hands with him and Zach, uh, yeah, it's really something special, you know, just knowing that your best friend, one of your best guys, your best brothers are next to you going out there, um, you know, leading you in the battle. Uh, it's, it's truly a special feeling. So I think we both realize it's a special moment, and, you know, walking out there, looking back on it, you know, 10, 20 years from now, we'll really reminisce and understand, you know, how it's cool, how important and how good it was to be able to have, you know, best friends as captains. They'll battle through some times together. They'll lean on each other uh, after football because of that, you know, relationship they have as captains walking out on that, you know, 50-yard line and, and sharing that most unique experience 
that you could ever have. I'm certain it will, it will keep them close um, uh, for the rest of their lives. To be a teammate, you know, I think it means a lot. I think it means not only, you know, playing with someone, being on the same team as somebody, but genuinely caring for that person and their well-being. Pumping it downfield, and T.J. Jones with a diving reception incomplete. Good hit at the end of this. T.J. Jones still down. When you do get hurt, you know, going back in, it isn't for the personal gratification. And T.J., after hitting the ground there, comes up slowly to the sidelines yep. where he will take a break. You know, if you go back in, people may cheer, but you don't go back in to be the hero. When you're in the red zone, it's a tight game. You know that someone's going to need to make a clutch play. You want to get out there. You want to be that guy to make that play for your teammates because you know that it not only means a lot to you, but it'll mean just as much to them. First and 10, ball at the 11. Reese lofting it up to T.J. Jones for the touchdown. Being able to make that play after being a little nicked up, being able to push through it for my teammates is very satisfying. I feel like that's something that we've really um, We've really pushed at, at Notre Dame the past few years, you know, being a teammate. It's more just being a brother, you know, uh, being another family member in an organization. Uh, I think Notre Dame really is a family. You know, it's, it's about trust. It's about love. It's about commitment, not just in football, uh, but in life. The teammate you think you may have for just a couple years, it's actually a lifelong teammate. And that's really what makes Notre Dame a family. I've always been asked this question, when did you know your team was, was going to be successful? I tell them, all you got to do is, is look around the locker room and when you've got a bunch of really good teammates, probably destined for success. You rally around teammates. And when you there, you're there, you're there for family in the good times and in the bad times. When you're up and when you're down, you be there and be there for your teammates. My friendship with Bennett makes me a better person on multiple levels. You know, once we leave here, all it's going to do is put us in separate places, but he's definitely someone that, you know, if I get married one day, he's going to be there. If I have a kid, you know, I want him to come see it. It's someone that, you know, I feel is going to be around. You know, distance really shouldn't make a difference. You know, and that's what being a teammate is, just showing support and love for the guy next to you. <laughs> you know, you only get to meet so many guys that you know down the road that you're going to continue to have a, a really strong relationship with, and uh, he's definitely one of those guys. Notre Dame is not about finding a way to, to earn a living. Notre Dame is about finding a way to live a life, and that's what trust, love, and commitment means to us. We hope we're passing that on to TJ and all of, of his teammates as we do to the rest of our children.